Every great film needs its star, but how do we do that when she keeps changing? Fret not, as today we will dive deep into how you can create your very own consistent character in your AI films with Meet Journey. And oh, do stay to the end as I do have a bonus tip for you. Let's go! The first step is designing and creating as many references to our ideal character. But how do we do that if Meet Journey doesn't give us consistent characters via prompting? Here's how. Let's say my main character is a woman with brunette long hair, I'll prompt it as such, and have the image split into two. This would help me create a grid of options with different angles. Choosing the one I like, I'll move on to creating more options by varying them. Over here, you could just go ahead, experiment and play around with it until you find the ones you really like. And once that is done, choose 5 of your favourites and save them through a screenshot or by cutting them out. And to top it off, we will give this reference a name. And in this case, I shall call my character Jane. And I will create the reference set by typing dash prefer option set Jane and add the 5 reference images into our values and click enter. By doing so, we can now easily reference Jane by typing dash dash Jane in our prompts. Awesome! Now to the fun part, creating the scenes. To do so, we would be using the very region option to help us place Jane in different scenarios. Keynote, it usually works best when you give a similar description of your reference characters in your prompts. For example, if I want Jane to now be in the jungle sitting on a rocking chair smiling, I would type the following. As you can see, I keep certain elements similar such as a photography of a woman with brunette long hair so that my variations would be more consistent later on. Of course, this girl still doesn't look like Jane, but not to worry, let's start by upscaling the ones we want first. Once we have that, let's click on the Vary Region function. Highlight the parts we want to change and type dash dash Jane at the front of it. And poof, now we have Jane in the jungle. It's that easy. And from here, the possibilities are truly endless. Repeating the steps above, we can even have her in a Star Wars outfit or even in a cyberpunk style. Our very own superstar. But that's not all. Here's a bonus as promised, creating a new style of Jane. Now, imagine we would like Jane to be an anime character. But as you can see, varying regions of a cartoon with a human reference isn't really the most ideal. Not to worry, we could just create a new reference. Using our previous reference, dash dash Jane, we could add the prompt, a woman with brunette long hair in a style of Studio Ghibli, dash dash Niji anime. And similarly, go wild with your explorations till you get a reference of what anime Jane look like. Once that is done, we can create a new reference set and start creating her in different scenes for our anime film. And with all the scenes you've created, all you have to do now is to add some of that Picalab's magic and animate them to life. Oh yeah! Now I hope you found this video useful in your AI filmmaking process. If you're interested in learning how to create cinematic AI videos, you may check out my Pika Labs animation tutorial in my previous video here. Let me know what guides would be useful and do subscribe for more AI films and tutorials. And I shall see you in the next video. Peace!